You're watching Global National. Brazil's government says the country has surpassed more than one million confirmed coronavirus cases. That is second only to the U.S. Health specialists believe the actual number of cases could be seven times higher. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro is still downplaying the risks of the virus despite nearly 50,000 deaths in three months. He says the impact of social isolation on Brazil's economy can be even more deadly. The owner of one of Germany's largest meat processing firms has apologized for a mass infection at one of its plants. The plant is in Guttersloh. It has now been shut down. More than 1,000 workers have tested positive for COVID-19. And a quarantine has been ordered for the other 5,500 staff. Most are from Romania and Bulgaria, who lived in cramped company-provided accommodation. Germany's agriculture minister has launched an official investigation. Via Rail is implementing a face mask policy on its trains. The company will require passengers to wear masks for the duration of their trips starting next week. Employees who interact with customers are also required to wear face coverings. For months, sports fans have been hoping things would get back to normal, but it looks like they may have to wait a bit longer. The MLS, NFL, NHL, NBA and MLB have all recently had athletes test positive for COVID-19. Canadian teams are being impacted. The Toronto Blue Jays have now shut down a Florida training facility after a player exhibited symptoms. And Maple Leaf star player Austin Matthews is isolating at his Arizona home after contracting the virus. As Mike Drillet explains, the new cases are casting doubt on when it might be game on. With cavernous stadiums devoid of fans, the Premier League in England certainly doesn't look the same. But sports is coming back. And this is what it looks like, for now at least. The reality is that nothing will look the same this year. The NBA will test players for COVID every other day when its season restarts next month at Disney World in Orlando. Or at least that was the plan before political and societal unrest overshadowed everything. A lot of the players just don't feel it's an appropriate time to be playing in, with this debate. Uh, they feel like their minds are on some, somewhere else and something else. It's just a step in the right direction. We don't have that a somewhere else is at the many rallies being held across the U.S. And some players have made it clear their hearts and minds are focused on the streets they grew up on and not the basketball courts where they make a living. So if the NBA does resume, players could decide to stay home. The NHL could be facing a similar opt-out dilemma for COVID, not political reasons. Still, the NHL is now the most likely league to resume play, even as the Tampa Bay Lightning deal with a COVID outbreak. The league plans on splitting the teams between two as yet to be announced hub cities. Las Vegas is widely believed to be one, and one of three Canadian cities, Vancouver, Edmonton or Toronto, could be chosen as well, provided the 14-day quarantine issue is addressed. We are uh, comfortable with moving forward on an NHL hub in one of three Canadian cities that are asking for it. Canada is uh, open to it as long as it is okay by the local health authorities. The most perplexing of sports remains baseball. While the Japanese and Korean leagues have resumed play, Major League Baseball's owners and players are squabbling with what a season would look like, and of course money. Provided a deal is ratified, the quarantine rule could force the Blue Jays out of Toronto and into their Florida facility. That's going to be interesting. Uh, the, this is where the Canadian factor does come into play. Uh, it doesn't happen all that often anymore, but this is one where it really does. Complicating matters even more, Florida is in the midst of another COVID outbreak. And three professional teams, including the Blue Jays, have shut down their facilities because of positive tests. So while sports fans are eager to see their teams on the court, ice or field, COVID and politics could have other ideas. Mike Drillet, Global News, Toronto. Tonight on Coronavirus, the new reality. 40 to 60 percent of employees want to work from home one to three days a week. The pandemic redefines the workplace. It's cleansing them. A sneak peek inside the office of the future. Tonight at 7 on Global.